Season's greetings everybody and welcome back to The Domain. We have an unboxing today that has been a long time in the making, Halo Heroes Series 14. I've been waiting so long to get these, I didn't have them shipped out to Hong Kong, you know, I was a little short on cash, so I thought why not wait until I'm in America. Then my good buddy Jerry really came through and sent me the full set. You can check out the unboxing with some really cool surprises that came out yesterday, and today we've got Halo Heroes Series 14. Hyperius. Spartan Trailblazer, Spartan Mark 7, Jackal Freebooter, and the Master Chief. Yes, there is another Master Chief in this series, and yes, we, we didn't really need it, but you know what? That's the way it is. Folks need heroes. We need a Master Chief in our Halo heroes, but thankfully there is not one in Series 15. I hope there is not one in Series 16 either. We're gonna see. So we've got the full set to unpackage, and I guess we are gonna start with the Master Chief. First of all, we'll look at the lineup. Yes, they are down to five figures. I'm going to hope that the rumors were true that they cut down to five figures because there were spoilers for Halo Infinite within the figures and when the game was delayed by a year they had to cut it down to five figures. That's what I hope. I don't know if it's true but either way we ended up with three Spartans and two enemies and hopefully come series 16 we're gonna be back up to six figures. Maybe this video will age poorly and that's just not the case but first we've got the Master Chief with his Mangala pistol. It's a very plain Master Chief like I've not heard the most incredible things about it. I've heard that people prefer the Halo Heroes series 13 Master Chief, but hey-ho, we're gonna see what's up. First, we've got the instruction manual, which yes, I just tore. Inside, we've got, uh, you know, a pretty basic lineup. They're in the desert, which is not a biome in infinite, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so yeah, I mean, they're in the desert. There's not much else to say, but it's a nice looking lineup either way. And we've got the Mangala pistol. This one is really detailed. We've had quite a few detailed Mangala pistols. My favorite was the battle damaged one that came in the Master Chief versus Brute Warrior battle pack. Yes, it has a spinning drum. It's got just, uh, yeah, just plain silver running around the dark gray underbelly, but it, it looks good all the same. And th th maybe that will be the motto of this review. It looks good all the same. Then we've got the Master Chief himself. His uh, back's actually coming off there. He's got a loose back plate. That's actually a very, oh wow, look at that. That's a very loose back plate. Uh, yeah, he's, he's looking fine. We've got uh, some minor dark black scorch marks on his chest, which look great. The 117 stands out as always. I love the helmet choice they went with for this. I mean, I, I love the... Oh, oh, there we go. There's my tripod. I'm telling you, if you saw one of my latest uh, news videos, you'll know that my tripod is on its last legs being held together by tack and there's only so many more videos it's gonna manage before we have to retire this one. Where was I? All right, <laughs> we got we got it back. So this Master Chief, yes, it, it looks pretty great. Some basic battle damage on his chest, but not really that much to ring home about. It's just your plain old John 117. Though since I've been playing the Infinite Campaign the last couple of days, I must say that John has a, a very special look to him now. I have uh, the most admiration for the team at 343. I love the Infinite campaign. I'm not gonna sort of ramble on about John anymore. It's it's a basic Master Chief. We also have these new base plates. They're all just sort of uh, green battle damage. That's the look we're going for with this series. From series 15 onwards, they're sort of ditching that whole approach and they're just putting the base plates like with their own custom design based on the character. They're kind of losing the whole series look of it. Like they'll all just blend into one set of figures, which I don't really like, but I do like that the new ones have, say, the Banish logo or the Lights of Sanghelios, like whatever's relevant to them. So that's our Master Chief. We're gonna keep on down with the Spartans now. We've got this purple Spartan. And let me tell you, the purple and white Spartans from this series are a funny one. They were confirmed kind of online as named characters. Back in the day, a couple of websites listed these Halo heroes as Spartan Stone and Spartan Griffin. And it was peculiar because we were like, okay, are these named characters? Like, did Mega Constructs have to back down after after naming them, and will I ever be able to get this one open? These are all really good questions. There we go. So it was a bit strange. Uh, they were listed online as named characters. Most people shrugged it off and said, oh no, that's just a weird listing. Like they've just called this Spartan Stone because he's white. Turns out these are actual characters in Halo Infinite. I'm gonna make a video uh, showcasing the differences between the characters and the figures in another video because it's really cool that we got these Mega Constructs figures before the game even launched, and it turned out they were 
are actually named characters. Spartan Griffin, as we can call him, or the Mark 7. You guys know me, I love the fact that they now change the color halfway down the limbs. That's one of the things I always run home about. I love that design choice. And this is a really cool color scheme. Like, I've never seen something like this before. Purple and silver halfway down the limbs. The armor is basic purple with just some black highlights in the nooks and crannies. And then the silver matches on his visor, which is a really nice touch. And that black on the top of the helmet, also great. And uh, yeah, he's just another basic Spartan, though he does come with a really nice needler. I love the Halo Infinite needler and this silver. I love when Mega makes the weapon match color-wise to the Spartan. Like this is literally the purple and the silver matching with the Spartan. Like what a great design idea. The light pink on the needle stalks are also really great. I don't know if people have ever called them stalks before. Maybe I'm the first. And yeah, Spartan Griffin. You're looking really good there. Okay, here is Spartan Griffin and the Master Chief. I guess they are Halo Infinite best buds. Yeah, very nice. That brings us to our third Spartan. You know, the Master Chief and Spartan Griffin, there wasn't that much to talk about. They are just basic color choices, even though the silver and the purple is a really good one. They are basic. This one, however, is definitely not. This is very different. So this is Spartan Stone, and this has a unique armor coating that we've never seen before, and I believe you can unlock this by playing the campaign. I believe it's in one of the storage lockers within the campaign that you can then unlock it to use in the multiplayer. But this is Spartan Stone, and he has a lot more detail. It's nice that these are matching, like they both have silver as their secondary limb colors, but this one has a black undersuit as well, but white armor. And this white armor has a really nice armor coating on top. I'll display the name of the armor coating if I actually can research it, but he's got a metallic blue visor. Unlike Spartan Griffin, where his visor matches his limbs, this visor matches the paint applications on his armor coating, which is a really nice touch. And the visor is very well applied. That black is perfectly done. And then the armor coating consists of some light grays and some light blues that are just kind of uh, random, I think. Just uh, this random camo pattern. Oh yeah, look at that. On his back, it looks even better. I would have liked that pattern to then continue down the legs and the shoulders, but perhaps it doesn't in the game. So I'll actually have to try and figure that one out. But the white pops really nicely. It's actually very rare we get a white Spartan in uh, the, the Halo Mega Constructs universe. So I'm really happy with this one. Spartan Stone uh, is gonna be my favorite figure from this series, I think. And then he comes with an SMG, which is not my favorite. Like it's just plain. The SMG is not that particularly important or impressive. Like it's just got, uh, it does have two different colors, the gray on the back and the silver near the handle. They are two different ones. But apart from that, it's a black SMG. And yeah, the silver also matches Stone's armor. I'm really impressed with these Spartans. I think they're a great team. Knowing that they were all on board the Infinity just makes this trio like even more iconic. So they, yeah, they, they work well in the Halo universe and the Halo Infinite universe, right? So this is a really great series. If we're talking about these characters, then we want to talk about the big boss as well. This is Hyperius and this is his second release. He also came out in the Defense Point Showdown, but this time he's got a really nice colored gravity hammer and I'm sure a few more colored painted details. If you would like to see a comparison video of this Hyperius with the Defense Point Showdown, I can film that at another point. And yeah, inside the packaging at the bottom, we've also got a jump pack. Has it got any details on it? Uh, no, which is a shame. Like this is a Halo hero. Uh, I really would like some painted applications on there, but no, it's just a plain jetpack. Though it does, uh, I don't know. I think this is a different design to most jetpacks. Like these huge spikes sort of jut right out. They're really nice. All right, we've got Hyperius and yes, he's got Locke's helmet on his shoulder. We've discussed this many times. Removable helmet, we can see the beloved gray skin Craig inside. And then I do like the touch of having this knee guard as a different color to the rest of his armor. And it also matches the sort of chiseled out helmet. Some people have speculated this is Palmer's helmet. I don't think so, but it is uh, actually a really detailed helmet. Like, look at that. We've got the hair on the back there. Then we've got a banished logo on his helmet. I believe this is way more detailed than the Defense Point Showdown helmet. That hair works really well in the back. That's very seamless. Then the red on his shoulder is great. The banished red, and then we've even got some silver detailings on his chest. So a really fantastic figure. I would have definitely preferred there to be some details on this jump pack. Even some red hot heast exhausts would have been great. And then we've got the gravity hammer. It's, uh, okay. 
it's it's kind of less detailed than I thought it would be. But maybe, yeah, maybe the detailing is just hard to see. This is a different kind of gray, a different shade of gray to the actual handle. But it's so subtle that I didn't actually think it was detailed at first. And then we've got some red on the hammer, especially on the front. Makes it feel alive. Okay, Hyperius, I see you. This is a nice figure. And the Defense Point Showdown is too expensive for some people, you know. It's great when they re-release the big baddies in Halo Heroes. I'm thinking that Atriox is probably going to get re-released in Series 16, but only time will tell. Jackal Freebooter is our last for today. Let's pop him open. I was very excited about this Jackal. Like I said in my haul video, I love when sort of standard military get put into the Halo Heroes. Like, it's a really great opportunity to get some highly detailed things like Jackals and Grunts. They only get released with standard sets and blind bags, so there's never an opportunity to get a really detailed one. But here's the Jackal Freebooter proving you all wrong. He's got some great details, including uh, painted sandals, which is completely different to his normal counterpart. He comes with a great looking plasma pistol. I'm a big fan of this, and the last time we got one this nice was in the Arbiter versus Master Chief Battle Pack, so great to see that. I love that light blue inside. Then he comes with a really impressive shield. Comes with a stud, which is not usual for any Jackal shield, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, why doesn't every Jackal shield come with that stud? That's actually really great, and he can hold that. Jackals, to be honest, are one of the most difficult foes in Halo Infinite. Like, really, really challenging to shoot round the side of their shield when they're holding it up. So technically, their shield should be way bigger, and I've heard people complain about that before. Really nice Jackal Freebooter here. The frills on his head, the way they're painted, make him look really alive, honestly. And then the hole running through his mouth, where his jaw sort of clenches together, and his eyelids, really great. I I'm a big fan. Those silver detailings on his back as well, look at that. And this, I believe, is the first Jackal to have two fingers, like the Elites. They're brand new hand molds, and they're probably going to be rolled out with every single Jackal going forward. They are fantastic. Look at that, even a bit of red detailing on his elbow. What a quality figure. Oh, wow. So many paint applications. Honestly, I don't remember a time with so many. That is really dope. Silver on his back. His sandals look great. The red on his elbow there. The painted plasma pistol. Jackal Freebooter, you might actually be my favorite from this set. But you know what? For a set that was, uh, let's be honest, just a filler while Halo Infinite was delayed, like, Mega Constructs, they didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. They suddenly got told that the game had been delayed by a year, they couldn't produce any of the sets that I guarantee they were about to make. Like, it must have been a complete scramble at Mega Constructs. So, for them to just bring out two pretty good series, this Series 14 is great, they get the job done. And now we're heading into Halo Universe Halo Heroes, things are only on the up and up. So let me know. <laughs> there goes the camera again. <laughs> so let me know, guys, which figure are you most excited to pick up in this set? Which one do you have on display, which is your pride of place? And do you think this Hyperius is a step up from the Defense Point Showdown Hyperius? Thanks so much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe, and Series 14 is signing off.